Alrighty. Getting started this time. We're gonna do it. Boop. We're gonna win this game. And nothing's gonna get in our way. Alright. Ooh. Let's get it started. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, welcome to the Flat Park Courthouse. My name is Tyler Cohen, and I will be presiding over today's proceedings. On the docket today, the end of Elden Ring. For sure. This time. Definitely. No doubt. Well, possibly. This is the end! <laughs> That's the idea. My bitrate's a bit unstable at the moment, but I'm sure that'll clear up eventually. Thanks for being here, Asha. Good to see you as always. Though, my plan for today is a little different from last time. We're not going to just throw ourselves against this endlessly. Uh, we're going to start with something a little bit more relaxed. We're going to take a tour. Or rather, another tour. There are some locations and NPCs that we have not seen in a while. And I want to go see if I can find them. This guy is not still standing here. Yeah, namely, we're going to go look for this guy, Kenneth Height. And we're going to go back to the Volcano Manor and see what things have happened here. Whoa. But we're going to start with Kenneth. I brushed Kenneth off when I met him. He wanted me to liberate his, what is it, fort, I guess? Yeah, Fort Height. Which I had already done, like, a long time before I met him. He was kind of a pompous douche. So I, I ignored him. Let's, let's go talk to him. Let's see what he has to say, if anything. Where the heck am I? This is not ideal. Kenneth? Kenneth, where are you? Jellies? Is this right? This way? Bears? I could check my map, but where's the fun in that? What the heck? Ah, oh, Smith and Stone 1. Have I not been here before? What the heck? Homing Instinct Painting. Huh. Do I know where this is? I'm not sure. <laughs> How bizarre. Anywho, where am I? Did I not? I could have sworn I traveled to this side of Grace. Well, whatever. We're here now. God dang it. I want to try something. Hold on. <gasps> That's what it was! Okay. So, <laughs> this right here, the, these random gestures have been happening to me since I started playing Bloodborne at the beginning of the year. And I could not figure out where why it was happening. It's motion controls. When I, when I select the, uh, this one, like to bring up my hotbar to call torrent, or if I hit triangle and make a motion with the controller, it does a gesture. My goodness. Alright, I think I can see Kenneth down there. He's on that slab of ruins. So we just have to get down there somehow. Aha. Yeah, those out those gestures got me killed a few times as well. Oh, 
Let's see. Kenneth? Kenneth, you sad sack. What are you doing up here? Why are you still here? Oh my god, this guy. Sure. Oh my god. Bruh. It has been like 70 hours of gameplay. Oh my god. Alright. Back to Fort Height. I'll give him this. He is stubborn. Not moving until I swear allegiance to him. Oh. Let's see. Go up to Fort Heights. Ideally, there won't be any enemies here. Since I cleared it out and Kenneth is now in charge again. I got this, didn't I? Yes. Oh, Kenneth. Oh my god, Kenneth, why? Kenneth, please. There are... Oh. Why are, why are there demi-humans here? Kenneth? Kenneth, what are you doing? What is wrong with you? Kenneth. Uh-huh. How did you get up here? Uh-huh. Guy's dead. I like that growling sound. Yeah, sure. Sure. Okay. It's fine, bro. I don't. I don't need your knighthood or whatever. Okay. Is that all you're gonna say? Okay. Well, let's see here. Normally. You'd want to find Nefali Lu. But. I don't know where she is. <laughs> so, in the meantime, let's go visit Selen. See what she's up to. I have no intent of doing her quest line, but if she's hanging out here, I don't see why not. So it would probably be a good idea to help her out. Yo, fake Selen, what's going on? There you are, my apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? Sure. I, I don't want to do that. I don't remember her asking me about that. It's been a long time. Uh-huh. I have a favor to ask? Wait, what? I need your help, my apprentice. Master Lusak is a never-finding Glintstone seeker. And like Master of Yore, he was banished from the Academy. Now he languishes in prison somewhere. Huh. My apprentice, can you find Master Lusak? Can I? Wait, wait, where is he? He is now a child of the sky, but he's a dead man. 
Do you have any leads? Well... Alright, well, that's something I can do, I guess. Let's see. Though it should be said that Selen is like, or I keep seeing Selen being captured. Like, people have seen her captured somewhere. But I don't know where it is. Hmm. So much of this early game that I just did not find or explore. It's kind of crazy. Let's go to the Ag Hill Lake. I'm going to explore that uh, ruin in the lake real quick. I don't know if I want to do any of these things right now. Like, our, our goal is to beat the game. I can't exactly do that if I'm just, like, running around doing quests. Oh. That was interesting. Pebble! All right. Thank you. There's that ruin. You don't want this fight, dude. Yeah, that's right, I thought. All right. The Dragon Burnt Ruins. I never explored this area. Ouchies. I hear someone speaking. What is this? Oh, see ya. Oh god, dogs. Nope, never mind. They're gone. Wait, have I been here? I haven't? I'm confused. Oh. Get. Ah, stop it. Where does this send me? This isn't the one that sends me to the crystal tunnel, is it? I don't want to be there right now. <laughs> and since I was ensnared in the trap, I'll have to actually leave and not just teleport out. Oh well. I think it I think we'll go find Yep, it's the crystal tunnel. Alright, fine, whatever. Is it? Howdy. Ow! Woo! Ow, stop, please! Jump. Jump, jump. Slide, slide. Well, that's... a little annoying. Well, we're right next to Celia. We might as well go see what's what. Uh, yeah. Understair, there we go. Where is this Master Lusat? It's been ages since I've been here in earnest. Does Torrent have headlights? I'm very confused. Oh, Master Lusat, that's not you. Where are you, my friend? Uh oh. I don't think this is where I want to be. Neither is this. Oh gosh, oh god, oh no, oh please, please stop.
Master Lusat. I don't know where you are. Not there. Dogs! Hmm. I don't remember any other, like, locked doors in Celia. So where could he be? Not down there, I don't think. Oh, that was close. Hmm. Mr. Lusat, oopsie. Calm down. Well, if I can't find him quickly... We might just leave. Because <laughs> it's really not that important. Mr. Master Lissat. That's a mistake of marker. Huh? Up here, maybe? No, this is just a tower. A weird tower. It's just sort of inaccessible. Mm hmm. It's not going to be over in Gallery Shack. If you could stop that, please. Haha, <laughs> range. Goodness gracious. Oh my gosh. Come on. Thing up there. Thank you. All right. Bap. Yeah, I have no idea where Master Lusat would be. It's not going to be up there. That's just like a part of the quest to unlock the door. Hmm. Oh well, guess it's not important. Oopsie poopsie. <laughs> Let's just do the left side of Grace. Alright. So we've revisited Celia. Revisited Celia. Let's go back to Liurnia of the Lakes. There's a character that has stolen everybody's hearts. And I didn't start her quest. So I doubt she's going to be there. But we'll see. This is like the one quest that I'd be like, okay, we'll take a detour to do this. Liurnia... Of the lakes. Because, like, this entire area right here, I just didn't explore, like, at all. So let's go and explore it. There's a bunch of gazebos, I remember the word, strewn about the lake that I have not encountered. Oh dear. I'm having some difficulties. Oh gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Any torrent. We have some stuff to explore. Alright, so we're gonna focus. Let's start here and then wrap our way around here. So this way? That gazebo there? Yes. Let's see what there is to see here. Oh. Oh my god, prawn! Smithing stone, neat. Anywho. Oh my god! I 
Freaking sniper shrimp. Jesus. That was frightening. Anywho, where are we? Let's go this way. Some crystals. Oh, look, a gazebo. A gazebo. Hmm. I feel like this is where you would normally find that NPC to start her quest. But I missed that. Guy on horse, all right. I think I'm heading too far south. Let's see here. Hello, goodbye. The heck was that? Oh, hi, jeez, I'm Christmas. Let's see. Am I safe? I'm not safe. Are you still chasing me? There we go. Okay. We're gonna flip around this way, hit this gazebo, and then go up here. Then maybe we'll go and check out this area too. Bang, bang. I think that's that rock. I believe we're heading in the right direction. This is near the Albanurix village. Albanarix? Albanurix? Let's see. Oh, gazebo. I missed it. It's this way. Aha, there it is. There's a sight of grace here. Look at that. Well, what do you know? What the heck? Is that just the sight of grace? What was that? Oh, hello, crab. Very cool. Now we're gonna head... What direction is this? North, east? Yeah. Well, let's go. And this should take us directly to another gazebo. Hey, look at that. Reading maps using compass. Shrimp! I, don't, I didn't need to get off Torrent to do this. Oh no. Oh no. Serpentine. So I don't get pistol shrimped. There we go. Ow! I spoke way too soon. Big crabs. Okay. We'll go this way now. Ooh, I do want to see what that's about. But first, gazebo. Gazebo. Is that it? It is. Mystery time. this item. Another smithing stone too. I feel like there was a point where smithing stone too was one I was looking for, but couldn't find. Finding all these now makes me feel silly. <laughs> Alright. What's the deal with this little island here? Yeah. 
Interesting. A cookbook. Neat. Oh, hello. Oh, it's you. Uh, that was a while ago, bud. What's your instruction? <laughs> they didn't seem right. Your intuition serves me well. My doubt has been piling up, you see. Guy, we're well beyond this point. Uh -huh. Even worse, the fingers harbor no love. That's the part that irks the most. I'm sure. All right, I'm not. Okay, I'm gonna see what you have to say. Oh, I have a gift for you. Something fit only for the wise. Oh, good. I'm not gonna use that. I won't. And if it please you, may we meet again. We won't. I hope for you. Can we meet again? Yeah, definitely not. Definitely not now. Uh uh. <laughs> Let's see, I hear a grace. Never mind, that's what I hear. Well, it doesn't really matter. What's that guy's name? Vare. Yeah. Anywho, we've explored that. Let's go back to the Volcano Manor. Let's see what's going on up here. As soon as it loads. Come on, come on, come on. Load. All right. Fantastic. Yo, Tanith, what's. Oh, where'd your friend go? There he is. Oh, that's a crucible knight. Uh, yeah. Huh? He has taught us that. Defeat is not the end. Our Lord is in your flesh. And no wonder you rise before him. Join us. We can learn. I must stay the course. And you must follow. Good for you. I will leave the Volcano Manor before long. Okay. I suggest you do the same. I will meet these encounters. What, it, what, what, it, what encounters? Of? Uh, whatever, lady. Oh, look. There's an item here. What is this? My thanks. Okay, cool. What is your deal? Oh! This is the guy that helped me beat the Godskin duo. Uh-huh. But anyway, the volcano manor is my own. Though we may yet fulfill an oldest promise. We conquered our own kind. We took what was theirs. I didn't do that, by the way. Everything we had. The time has come to rise against the Earth Trigger. Yeah, I'm kinda in the middle of that actually.
Cool. Alright, well the NPC that people love is not here, it seems. She has vanished. Bad posture and all. But perhaps... Is it the Temple of Aigle? Is that what I'm looking for? Well, let's go to Rikard's boss room. Maybe that's where she is. Oh, jeez, hello. Uh Oh, it's you. How's it going, Tanith? Alarm us in time. Our Lord Tarkas is right. And not even from here. Uh. Thank God. Thank God. I am Tarkin the Wanderer. I wish to be your interpreter. Your friend. One day your eyes will rise to the God of the Jedi. Huh. Okay. Not what I was expecting. Alright. <laughs> well, I can't ride uh, Torrent down here. Very interesting. Welp. I guess that's that then. Nothing left to do but to slam our face against the boss. Again and again and again. Although... I think I read a crone. Let's go back to the... Godric Arena. There's one more thing to see. I think. We'll see. Perhaps. Maybe, maybe not. I missed a lot of um, plot lines and NPC quests. So there's a whole bunch that I missed. Oh, there he is. I didn't sit at this? That's silly. How's it going, friend? You just been doing this the whole time? Some pent up issues for sure. Hello. Uh huh. You're welcome. Sure. Oh, I can buy stuff from you. Interesting. Nothing really worth my time. Alright, bye. As you were. The throne. Thought there was a person sitting here for a second. But no. Statue of Godfrey. Did I go in here? I feel like I explored this area, right? 
Pretty sure I did. Could be wrong. Oh, that's right. This was like a uh, catacombs. Eh, not important. All right. Here we go. Back to it. Ooh. We took a nice leisurely half hour to get back into the mindset. Now it's time to beat this game. Take a few attempts to loosen up the fingers. And we'll see if that makes some real attempts. Prime dish. Touch the light. Take a quick sip of water. Let's watch the cutscene. Just for this first attempt of the night. We're gonna really ease ourselves into this. This is a very neat cutscene. And suddenly Radagon. Music starting up. Ooh. And seven tish. Wait for it. Tish, no, please. Oh, God. I already lost my shield. That's fantastic. Aha. Oh god, timing. Sip. Nice try, dickhead. All right. Badness. Woo! Safe to sip. Dick. Don't teleport. Don't you dare. Stop it. Woo! Alright, here it comes. Whoa, baby. Whoa, baby. Whoa, baby. Alright. We've gotten way better at avoiding that. Safe to sip. Dick. Again? You monster. I hate you. Oopsie. Whew, dove into that. That was silly. Nice. All right. First attempt, looking okay. Good job, Tish.
just for good luck. There we go. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. We gotta hope for two things. One, we gotta hope for a nice pattern of attacks that isn't too difficult to dodge. And two, red move. We need Teach to do the red move as much as possible. Oh my god, just standing like, oh god. Go! Hit, hit the thing, hit it. Keep hitting it. Come back! Alright. Here we go. And jump! Oh, nice! This is perfect. I can't see. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Sit, quick sit. Oh jeez, okay. Whew. What the heck is that? Why? Why did you do that? Oh, you monster! Stop doing things that are- Oh no! Bad! Keep going, Tish! Keep red moving! Oh, good job, Tish! Amazing! Amazing work! Whoa! Holy crap! Come back! Oh! I mistimed it! Not bad, though. Nice first attempt. All right. That is a great way to start. Huh. <sighs> Over the course of five hours last time, we made it to the Elden Beast, like, six times or so? Six or seven times, I think? And now on the first attempt of the night, we made it to the Elden Beast and got down to half health. Ugh, something to be proud of, I think. Thank you, Asha. All right. Attempt number two. Good job, Tish. Nice try, jerk. Oh, the frickin' stomp. Oh, God. Good job, Tish, but you... you ugh. When the boss switches aggro and you don't notice it. That's fine. That's totally cool. We're gonna get there. I am confident. I'm feeling good.
Yes. Yes. I feel great. I can do this. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Again, I really wish there was like a stake of Marika or something like right here. That would be ideal. Wait for it. Now. Never mind. There we go. Alright, got it. Spam the summon button. La la. Alright, he's doing that move. He's gonna stomp. Never mind. Oh my god. Oh, I did not. Oh no. <laughs> it's okay. We have to, uh, what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? Recycle our karma. We had such a good run right at the start. Now we just need to churn through some bad attempts. God, now that I'm thinking about it, that first attempt was incredible. <laughs> the Radagon fight was almost perfect. We got some actually really good patterns with the Elden Beast. The only issue was that I screwed up at the very end. And that's fine. We got all night to do this. Skip. Skip, skip, skip. Mash the button. All right. Interesting. Don't stomp. Aha. Nice try. Oops. <laughs> Timing. Yikes. Oh, I should have taken that opportunity to heal. Oh. Now's a good time to heal. Alright, cool. Oh, I hate that one so much. Oh, God. Any attempt in which he does that specific combo is a bad attempt. <laughs> Ugh. It might be one of his more difficult moves to avoid. Because he does it so quickly that you can't really read it. As far as I can tell, there's no difference between the initial hammer swing and his other attacks, as he attacks either. But that's fine. It's all good. He's going to go down again, and so is the Elden Beast. This is the end, for sure. For real. <laughs> Tish. Red move. Interesting. Red move. No! Uh oh. No! Woo! Okay. Ouch. Thing. Oh, my shield's gone. Teach no! Teach no! God damn it! Go! 
Good looking out, Tish. What is happening? What are you doing? Alright, Tish, I need you to not come this way. You colossal dickbag. Unreal. Oh my gosh. I think I avoid that specific move like 95% of the time. The other 5% being times in which my timing is a little bit off. And times where his aggro switches to Tish in the air and I don't notice it. But that's okay. I'm going back again. Once more into the breach. I believe in Tish. And I believe in myself. I didn't do any of my prep, did I? Nope. Hold on a second, Radagon. Okay, that was a s bizarre start. Oh, timing, timing. Oh my god. Nope. I don't think so, pal. That was silly. Why did I do that? Oh, the timing. I'm done to half health. That's fine. Not terrible. Mwah, mwah. Mwah, mwah. <laughs> Another thing that's pretty surprising is that big three slam attack. Both times we've seen him do it tonight, I have managed to survive it. Probably jinxing myself here, but. That's okay. Skip. Aha. How dare you. Ah, oh, jeez, I'm Christmas. Oh, timing. Bad. Oh. Sip. All right. Oh, pooper. Oh my god, that was so close. Good remove, Tish. I'm coming to help. Uh oh. Oh, Tish, no! Your red move. God, do the thing if you're gonna do it already. Jesus. You big jerk! Oh. Alright, we're currently hard stuck at half health. It's okay.
okay? It hasn't even been half an hour since we started attempts. It's all good. We'll get there. Take a quick sip of water. Ah. Let's go again. Let's go again. Arm the physic. Prepare the tish. Skip the cutscene. Oopsie. Not a deal. Woo! Oh, God. I keep missing the timing on that all of a sudden. Uh oh. On to phase two. That was a weird one attack. No. Nicely red moved, Tish. All right, here we go. Up. Up. And up. Good job, Tish. Proud of you. Oh no. No. Zip. You gotta stop doing that, pal. Oh, what the heck was that? Zip. Wowzers! Okay. Red move, Tish. Good job. Zip. Uh oh. Ah. Oh. Okay, that was a bad run anyway. If I had tried to go into the Elden Beast with that run, it would have been a nightmare. I was all over the place. You know, every time I've looked at this loading screen and, like, looked at this angle of the statue, I've thought that the thing behind Godfrey was a dragon. And I thought that was weird. Especially after fighting him. I was like, oh, no, he's got a lion. That's... No, he shouldn't be a dragon. But looking at it just then... Yeah, that's probably a lion. I was probably just seeing it incorrectly. Interpreting the image improperly. Mm. All right. If we don't get to the Elden Beast in this attempt, I'm going to try watching the cutscene again. Maybe that did more for me than I thought it would. <laughs> all right. One more attempt. One more attempt, and then we watch the cutscene. That was just a bad attempt all around. Nothing went right at the beginning there. Wop wop. <sighs> it's a fun story. 
I consider myself to be a bit of a sugar addict. I'm not, like, actually addicted to sugar, as far as I know. But I have a sweet tooth. My teeth are awful, yes. But I recently bought myself a thing of Snickers. And I'm very excited for it. I'm going to practice restraint and not eat all six bars in one sitting. I'm going to meet them out day by day. Six days worth of stickers. Once a day. Oh yeah, six bars in one package. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, really? Teach, get out of there. Oh. Oh! Oh man, I am out of it. We are in a valley. A deep, dark valley. At that incredible start. Yeah, I also bought myself some chocolate covered peanuts. It was a. What was the brand? Skinny Dipped. Six at once? I've done well more than six at once. Though, that's in fun size. There was a time, not too long ago, where I was eating a package of fun size Snickers. Probably in the span of six hours. Yeah. Now, if it was six fun-sized Snickers, that'd be fine, but it was an entire package. Ooh. Before that, I was downing entire bags of chocolate-covered peanuts in one sitting. Because those are like the perfect snack food. Yeah, I bought a bag of chocolate-covered peanuts the other day and proceeded to eat it in a single sitting. So it's definitely a good thing that I'm trying to not eat as many sweets or find alternatives that aren't candy. Because my goodness, the fact that I am not diabetic at this point is astonishing. Uh, oh no. Well, there goes my shield. This colossal dick bag. Oh, jeez. Will you stop that? Oh! Jerky's always good? Jerky kinda messes with my stomach. I do agree, jerky is fantastic. But it gives me the rumblies. Also, I must admit, oftentimes when I eat jerky, little tough pieces of meat will work their way down into my gums and just sit there for a few days. Not to uh, bring up a gross image or anything. Oh, uh, yeah. It's not too uncommon, I guess. Yeah. I suspect that I have some kind of, like, irritable bowel syndrome. But I don't let that get to me. I eat things that make me feel awful all the time because they taste good. And a good meal or snack is well worth half an hour on the toilet. Bop, bop. Ha ha. Lightning. Huh. Bap. 
Big slam. All right. Up. Up. Ouch, dick. Not with the lightning bolts, please. Teach, no. Stop it. Up. 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 Oopsie. <laughs> Step hard to not. Yeah. I agree. Like, they're those, um. What do you call them? They're peanut butter filled pretzels. Look, these little pretzel bites that have peanut butter in them. You wouldn't normally think that that would be very tasty, but it's pretty good. Combos. Yeah, definitely. Like, I was skeptical at first. I was hesitant to try them. And then they became one of my favorite snack foods. But as is my way, I have a tendency to overeat. <laughs> and you can be sure that when I eat all of those, white chocolate pretzels? I've not tried those. I might actually have to do that. Like, chocolate pretzel is not really something that I've considered. We're going to watch the cutscene this time, by the way. Yeah. Next time I go on a snack run, I'll have to pick up some chocolate-covered pretzels. That's another thing. The snack foods that you... You don't like it by itself. But when it's combined with something... It becomes amazing. Like, I guess as a confession in general, I'm not a big chocolate guy. However, you mix chocolate with peanuts, peanut butter, whatever. Man, that, that's, that's some good stuff. Ugh. I do have to say, the white chocolate Reese's, specifically the ones they release around, like, springtime with the eggs, those are my jam. I love those a lot. Regular Reese's don't really do it for me anymore, but those... Those slap. Those are amazing. Alrighty then. In my opinion, anyways. I cannot claim that as objective fact. Bruh. Tish. Use your red move, please. Ah! There we go. Ooh, that was kind of scary. That's not good. Bad timing. Uh oh. Ay ya. Uh. Fix it. Yeah, dicks. <laughs> that was a fast one, though. Ugh. Yeah, I also tried, let's see, what is it, sunflower seeds, like, uh, dry roasted sunflower seeds. Those are fantastic. Though I have read that they are, in large quantities, not exactly good for you. One thing that I'm always... I shouldn't say I'm always focused on. But one thing in particular that I've made adjustments to my diet for are my kidneys. Because I feel like the consumption of sweets... Pocky's always a good... 
Yeah, Pocky's a fantastic snack. Oh my gosh. I should buy myself some Pocky. They have these ones that are like, they have chunks of almond in them, or like slices of almond mixed in with the chocolate around the little cracker stick. I love those. There's also one with the coconut shavings. That one's fantastic, too. Chocolate filled pandas? Yes. If you've ever had the, um, uh, the Kinoko chocolate co cookies and the uh, bamboo sprout ones. Yeah, they usually have like the like uh, the almond or the coconut filled ones, not filled but covered ones. At like international grocery stores. Yeah, the, the little um, mushroom and bamboo sprout cookies are also really good. Cause it's just like a cookie with some chocolate in the shape of like a mushroom cap. And then the uh, bamboo sprout, it's a cookie that's covered in chocolate. Yeah. Oddly enough, I'm not a huge fan of most Japanese snacks, but some of their chocolate stuff, shockingly good. Oh! Hiya! Oh, that was silly. I pay attention. Red move, Tish. Oh no. Get him. Uh oh. Ha! Time that poorly. Didn't time that poorly. Get wrecked. Oh my god, I should be I should be dead. You gonna teleport? Like a douche. Oh Some are pretty great. Yeah. Like, I tried out one of those, um, whatchamacallums. My brain is running at a very slow pace tonight. Uh, one of those boxes that you get delivered every month. That was just for Japanese snacks. And every single one of them was like 80% rice cracker. Just some variation on the rice cracker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't remember what the name of it was. But... I mean, don't get me wrong, they were tasty. Rice cracker snacks are, most of the time, pretty good. But they're always really hard. <laughs> and my teeth don't do hard notes so good. Been a few different ones, you think? That wouldn't surprise me. Like, for all the monthly box ideas, that's what I would expect that there would be a lot of. I can't do either because of jaw. Yeah. Love me my soft foods. <laughs> I feel like growing older and getting old man mouth won't be such a big deal for me because I'm just going to go from eating soft foods to eating soft foods. It'll be an easy transition. Ugh. It's very strange how I can do crunchy, just not super hard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like wrapping your back around to peanuts. Peanuts are crunchy. They're not exactly soft. Or what's another good crunchy snack? Honestly, the um, what are they? God, I can't remember any brand names right now. Maybe peanuts, not almonds. Ooh. 
Almonds, I feel like can't, I can do. But almonds are definitely one of the things that really mess with me the most. Almonds and walnuts. Because I can just inhale those things. And it is not the best for me. Yeah, old oh man. Oh, timing. Timing is bad right now. Teach, no! Whoa! Good red move, Teach. Come back here. Whoa! You colossal jerk, I hate you. No! Ha! Yikes. Ooh. I feel like I should have gotten hit by that, but that's okay. Unreal. <laughs> Cinnamon roasted ones get at a fair. Ooh. I don't think I've ever had something like that. Though to be fair, I'm <laughs> to be fair, I have not been to many fairs in my life. So what was it? It was the um Quaker Oats, I think that's the one. They had they had these um rice cakes. It's just like puffed rice pressed into a little puck. <laughs> I can enjoy those to a certain extent. And those ones they have like a plain rice one, they've got like chocolate. And they've got like a caramel one as well. Or caramel, however you want to pronounce it. Caramel. The pit stops on the road too. Oh. Whenever I would road trip with my family, I would always get stuff like Butterfinger BBs and Reese's Pieces. Not peach rings. Never peach rings. And absolutely not those disgusting little, like, peanut things. Like, the not peanuts, like, they're marshmallows, but they're shaped like peanuts. Ugh. On that note, I have soured hard on marshmallows in general. You like peach rings, though? That's fair, I guess. I can understand the appeal. I'm just not a big peach guy. <laughs> orange slices? Like real orange slices? Or are we talking like some kind of candy? Because if we're talking real, then yeah, orange slices are the bomb. Citrus is just really... Oh, candy ones. Really? I don't know that I've ever had an orange slice candy. You would think with my self-destructive sweet tooth I'd have tried all of these different things. Stop, don't stop, don't stop. Woo. You colossal dick bag! No! Whoopsie. Hmm, not ideal. Sit. Uh oh, teleporting. Whew, that was close. Heads up, Tish. That was weird. Uh oh. Nope. I don't think so. Bam.
It's gonna explode. I don't know what happened there. Dried apple chips are really yummy too. Dried fruit. I have a love-hate relationship with dried fruit. Because in theory, it's fantastic. But there's just something about most dried fruit that just doesn't sit well with me. I don't know if it's the texture. It's probably the texture. Because it's probably not the taste. Because apples are fantastic. Though I do suppose there are apples that I'm not particularly fond of. Like Cosmic Crisp. Blech. Or Pink Ladies. The lowest of the low tier apples. Yeah, like, I can eat... I actually really like Granny Smith's. I know a lot of people don't. But I love those sour green apples. Speaking of texture issue, I had a mochi... Oh, for the long... Boba flavored... Boba tea flavored mochi. That's interesting. And not so gross texturing as I thought. Yeah, actual mochi is pretty good. Like, if you like soft things... It's a very bizarre texture, right? It's like a jelly consist not jelly, but like a, a jelly candy consistency almost. I feel like the texture gets to a lot of people. I'm glad you enjoyed them. I think it was my second trip to Japan. I bought some banana flavored mochi at the airport. It was okay. It was like banana Laffy Taffy. It was good though, the flavor was on point. Nice! It is always such a, like, happy surprise when something that is supposed to be flavored a specific way tastes like the thing it's supposed to be flavored after. Like, to a T? Not <laughs> to a T. Boba tea. Huh. Well, this is not ideal. Tish, we need to... Yeah, split up. There we go. Oh, dicks. Everything's bad. I do not know why Radagon is such a difficult fight for me. Like, he doesn't... He's not that hard. I just can't seem to get him. <laughs> Distracting me too much with food. No, 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 no. See, I was doing poorly before the food, start, food talk started. I've actually done a couple of really good runs in here during these discussions. I don't know if you've ever experienced this, Asha, but when you start, when you try to attempt a challenge in a video game, and like you do really well the first time, and you do make like one small mistake that prevents you from completing it, like a boss fight or a puzzle or whatever, and then you spend hours trying to do even slightly as well as that first attempt. There's got to be something, like, in our brains that's like, okay, we know what to do. We have experienced a nearly perfect scenario. We're just going to forget all of that now. Up. 
Down, oh, pooper. I didn't need to sit there. Oh, huh, that was weird. Oh, poop. Oh my god. So many times we get in our heads, I think. Yeah. It's like once we're aware, it's like breathing or blinking, which you're now doing manually, by the way. It's like, oh man, normally it's something that we don't have to think about. It just happens automatically. But then you think about it, and it's like, oh, I am doing that. I'm specifically doing that. And all those little things that align to make that really good first run are suddenly part of your focus. Like, you have to focus on each one individually. Maybe I need to take another tour. Distance myself from the fight, physically speaking. I begin. Alright, Tish, this time you're gonna do red moves all the time. Non stop red moves. You might be called Black Knife Tish, but you need today you need to be Red Move Tish. Oh, Pooper. Oh, Pooper. That works out. Hup. Yep, that was terrible. Oh no. I roll <laughs> That was horrible. Tish no. <laughs> Red move Tish. Oh, she was close, she almost did it. Come on, teach red move. Oh, she's colossal dick bag. I hate it when he works the teleport into a combo. I never see it coming. Yeah. That's all right. I felt good on that attempt. Let's try, like, five more times, then we'll take another tour. Just to see if that will help us reset. Alrighty. Touch the golden light. Ah. Oh. Yeah, we're coming up on an hour since that first attempt. It's nuts how we can have set one attempt, the first one, go so well. And then all the subsequent ones, just not even getting close. What are you doing? Oh my god. You monster. Cooper. Red move, Tish. There we go. More of that, please. More red move. You missed. That's okay. It's a good attempt. Oh no. Fix it. Oh my god. You colossal dick. How could you? Teach red move. I have his attention. 
More red move. Yeah, I need to hit the red move. Teach, please. Red move. Alright, here we go. Good job, Tish. Good job, Tish. Red move, Tish. Unreal. Oh, gosh. Is it going to do the cutscene thing? Nope. Okay, it didn't. Whew, thank God. Ugh. You know, that was a lot like that first attempt. Where I panic rolled. Because I definitely could have seen that move coming and rolled at the right time, but I didn't. I am a fool. Alright, that was attempt number one of five. Until tour. That was a good one. We technically got there. The only issue is uh, we were dead at the time. Ugh, stretch, 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 stretch. Ah, limber up. Let's go. Bring it on, Radagon. Good red move, Tish. Or see more like that. Oh. He didn't do the follow up. No, okay, there he goes. Ouchies. Tish. Sit. You colossal jerk. I cannot believe I didn't roll there. <laughs> Attempt number two of five. Three attempts until tour. Yeah, I'm thinking about where we'll go on the tour. Because at this point, there's not many more places to go and see. We've been down to the southernmost point of the map. That was fun. <laughs> We've been to see our teacher, Selen. We went to see Kenneth Height. Maybe we'll see if he's moved at all. I don't think he will have, because Nefali Lu is a part of that quest, and I did not pay attention to what was going on with her. Go in! Oops. One, two, three, four. I was expecting more from you. What? Don't interrupt her red moves. Those red moves are a work of art. You charlatan. Okay, interesting. I don't think I can count on Tish to tank that. Alright, cool. You gonna teleport like a bitch? Interesting.
interesting. Good job, Tish. Good distractions. No. Good job, Tish. I missed. Hey, Tish, we need more red move. Yikes. Yes, Tish! Good job, Tish! I almost made it to the uh, Elden Beast fight, the shield. Alright. And that's about a an hour since the first attempt that got us here. Fantastic. God, it honestly blows my mind. That takes me so long to get to these attempts. I will maintain that Radagon is not a difficult fight. Welcome back, Asha. Like, he... His moves are well telegraphed. There's like two that aren't. But even so, they don't come out all that often. If I had had this many attempts at the Elden Beast, I would have beaten this game like three times over. <laughs> the Elden Beast is easier for sure than Radagon. And Radagon is not difficult. Alright. Let's make this the one. Uh, uh, uh. This is gonna be it. Holy. <laughs> Alright, Tish, I need you to do all the red moves. Every red move. Every move red. Red move, Tish. Uh oh. Uh oh! Help! <laughs> Alright. Big Elden Ring move. Oh, I'm actually hit him with the red move. Nice. Let's go. Wait, what? What just happened? Wait. Let's avoid this. You cannot be serious. That's not going at me, right? It's not. Nice. Oh, I blocked that. Holy crap. All right, teach red move. Yes. Nice. Interesting. Red move, teach. Let's go. What is this you're doing? Huh? What is this? What's happening? Oh my god. Help! Help! Teach, help! Is this thing still coming at me? What the heck is this? What's happening? I don't s I, I am so confused. Where is it? Where's the thing? Where is it? Where's the beast? Oh, there he is. Uh-oh. Woo! Oh my god. Tisha, a little far for the red move. I enjoy the spirit, though. The spirit is good. All right, let's go. Uh oh, fire, fire bad, fire bad. Nice avoid, Tish. Keep hitting them with that red move. We got this. I did it again! I did it again! <laughs> oh. That was good, though. It happened again. <sighs> not bad, not bad. If I had avoided that, I think that would have been over. Hmm. 
was very strange. Like, both times it did the, like, ring move, it was both of them were on Tish. I've not seen that before. That was the first time I've seen that not be on me. Anyway, that was attempt number three, I think, of five before tour. So maybe we should reset the count now that we've made it to the Elden Beast. Yeah, let's reset the count. This will be attempt number one of five before tour. Although, I think that attempt just sort of highlights my point. Like, this fight should not be difficult. Yikes. Uh, nice miss. His moves are mostly extremely easy to avoid. Oops. <laughs> Barring poor timing. Dick. Ah. And that kind of garbage. But I feel like every time I'm getting to the Elden Beast now, I'm getting it to half health or lower. All I need is more attempts. And it's going down. It's just that Radagon stands in the way. Hmm. I really need the Elden Beast to not do that one move that follows me for like two minutes. That was a nightmare. <laughs> And I am shocked that it didn't kill me. Alright. But yeah, that was attempt number one of five before tour. On to attempt number two. Job tanking those hits, Tish. Oh, I stepped into it for the last second. Uh oh. Good red move, Tish. Yikes. Double yikes. Ah. No! Ah. I, uh, I tried to run at first, because I feel like that works really well. Get a little bit of distance and then dodge when he lunges at you. But I didn't start running. And then I panicked. <laughs> ah. Agua. That was attempt number two. <laughs> On to number three. Let's go. Let's go again. Let's go again. Beat me down as many times as you like, Radagon. I can do this all day. I have infinite tries. And while I definitely have to beat you more than once, I only have to beat the Elden Beast one time. Uh-oh. Well, so much for my shield. Oh! 
Oh, baby. I thought I had uh, timed that wrong, but I didn't. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Good red move, Tish. Oops. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like Tish is being really good this session. She's using red move all the time. Pretty consistently. That was step number three. Two more attempts and then we tour. Yeah, I'm still lamenting. Not really lamenting. I am considering. That has nothing to do with lamenting. <laughs> considering where to go on this par particular... Gosh, I can speak. On this particular tour. I guess we could visit the three sisters, but I don't want to run into uh, Blyde. I like Blyde, I don't want to have to fight him. Well, I guess we could go to the uh, Warjar village. More red move, Tish. Come get it. Up. Up. Oh, good job, Tish. You're amazing. Good red move. Ouch. Uh oh. Oh, my shield, no. This is it. Yes, okay. That real quick. He's dead, Tish. You, you, you're good. You got him. All right. We'll reset the tour counter. Only took us about... 15 minutes? 10 15 minutes? To get back here? <sighs> okay, Tish, this time for sure. I want to see red move. I want to see red move all the time. Nothing but red move. I got a fever and the only prescription is more red move. I'm recycling that joke. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. You ain't nothing, Elden bitch. You all right, Tish? Where'd he go? You doing the move? You doing the big move? The big, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're attacking Tish? That's not cool. Come back. Oh my god. Good red move, Tish. 
Oh my gosh, come on, man. You gotta stop running away. You're embarrassing yourself. Alright, who's coming after? It's on me. Alright. Tish, away! Tish! <laughs> uh oh. This is trouble. Ah! <laughs> Elden bitch! <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I feel like Radagon really is more difficult than the Elden Beast. The Elden Beast has like 30 moves, and I've only seen maybe 6 or 7 of them. But I still maintain that the Elden Beast is nothing... It, it's, it, it's simple, it's easy. If I could throw myself at it consistently, it would, again, we wouldn't be here right now. We'd have, we'd have already beaten it. Ugh. All right, we reset the tour counter as well. So five attempts until we tour. Just so we don't get stuck in our own heads. And go! Oops. Nice red move, Tish. Get him! Oh, timing! Zip. Whoa! <laughs> Step number one, we got him to half health. Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. So yeah, I think the, uh, the pot village will be a good place to go for tour. It's scenic. It's pleasant. My favorite drink? Uh, that's a difficult question to answer. I drink water mostly. <laughs> um... And I enjoy myself a half glass of cranberry juice every now and then. Just to get my sugar fix. Without being too unhealthy. Uh, I used to... Inhale Dr. Pepper. Like it was air. Like I'm talking two, gla two cans of Dr. Pepper a day sort of situation when I was younger. Is it any wonder that my teeth are terrible? Ooh. Other than that, I don't actually drink. Woo! That sucks. <laughs> Ouchies. Red move, Teach. Good job. Uh oh. Oh, really? No teas or anything? Not really a big tea guy, no. I don't mind green tea every once in a while. Uh, sweet tea I'm not a big fan of. Um, definitely not a fan of black tea. <laughs> I'm also... I have a very strong aversion to coffee as well. It's dirt water. 
It smells fantastic. It does not taste the way it smells. <laughs> so what else do I drink? Do I ever drink anything other than water and cranberry juice these days? I like orange juice, though I don't drink it much. Uh, what else? I would take a cold glass of lemonade. Though it's definitely not my drink of choice. Hmm. So yeah, not really... I am very boring drink-wise. Nice trip. Bow. Come on, teach me more red move. You got this. Nice try, dickhead. Uh oh. Bad. Red move, Tish. Good job. Good job, Tish. Red move, Tish. Let's go. Oh no. Big yikes. Unreal. I love tea and coffee. I feel like those two go together really well. I mean, not actually together, but... I feel like normally if someone is into tea or coffee, they're probably also into the other one. I wonder if it's a caffeine thing. Because when I stopped drinking soda, I quit cold turkey. And, like, by the time I stopped, I, like, caffeine didn't even affect me at all. I never got any energy from caffeinated drinks. All it ever really did was make me have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I believe that was attempt number three of five? I actually stopped keeping track. <laughs> yeah, both tea and coffee are caffe caffeinated. So I wonder if there's some weird umami flavor profile associated with caffeine. Besides, you know, the actual stimulation of the caffeine itself. Ouchies! Big bully. More red mutish. Oh no. Ha! Oh no. Another tish. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Wow. Wow. Oh, that's not good. We got there. Good job, Tish. More red move. That was weird. <laughs> what if you'd like boba? Because there's so many different flavors. Taro, you know. Like regular a lot, though, too. I've had boba tea before. I actually had it in Japan once. And I didn't mind it. It's one of those things that's like, I'm neutral towards it. What flavors do you have? I cannot remember. <laughs> it has been so many years. Yeah, it wasn't really popular here. It wasn't something you could just get anywhere at the time. Yeah, I do remember... Oh god, I'm gonna... I was about to 
go double negative there. I remember it being okay. I had no trouble drinking it. It was tasty. That's the impression that I remember. Boba and Korean place go? Ah. Oh. I don't know about a Korean place. Like, all the places that I know of are, like, Asian fusions, so you can get, like, Korean, Chinese, Japanese. Downtown has some options. Oh, downtown for sure. What downtown doesn't have options? <laughs> Come back. Where'd you go? Alright. You're too far away for red move, Tish. Where? Whoa, no. Okay. I'm okay with this. Wait a second. Ouch! You colossal jerk. Up. Very nice. Tish, you alright? Oh, god, really? Flyer! Alright. Stamina. Good job, Tish. I need more of that red move. Bad. Oh, I did it again. That's the exact same move. It's that move that gets me every time. Gotta be more aware of it. Yeah, I know... Like, specialty places that I've been... There was a Mongolian Grill that I've been to a couple times. I haven't been there in years, but... That had hibachi. And that was pretty tasty. It was like a... Not all you can eat, but it was like a buffet hibachi. Where you have all the ingredients you want laid out. Like you build yourself a plate. And they would cook it for you in front of you. Personally speaking, I'm partial to any place that sells eel. You give me a restaurant with unagi don, and that uh, it's it's over. That's just I'm gonna that's gonna become my favorite place. Hop. More red move, Tish. Ah, that was a mistake. My trips to Japan. Well, they were all school trips. Uh, the first one, first two actually. Or for high school trips. Where my professor, who had worked and lived in Japan a few times, orchestrated like an exchange for high school? Yeah. Because, uh, I feel like it's probably more common nowadays, but at the time, my school was kind of a, a new agey sort of place. So we had like a bunch of different languages uh, besides, you know, ASL and... What's the other one? Spanish. Yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah, so we went to Japan as a part of that. Like our teacher orchestrated it with a school that he had done work with before. I went for about a week. We visited the school like once. It was really cool. Got to interact with some other students. Uh, the first trip is kind of hazy at this point. Latin or Spanish? Stick Spanish. Latin seems like it'd be interesting. Yeah, I took one semester of German. 
and I remember nothing. <laughs> Yeah, language is like the one thing that I felt really comfortable with in high school, like, in terms of... Oh no. Ugh. Classes. Uh oh. Woo! Oh gosh. Oh, of course, it's starting this. On his bullshit again. I need you to get out of there. You big jerk. Oh my gosh. That was close. Whoopsie! Up! Oh, good job, Tish. Don't you dare switch targets. Nice! Cool. Alright. Yeah, I don't know what it was about Japanese, but it really clicked with me. So I studied it through high school and uh, through college as well. Yeah, the first trip to Japan. I remember distinctly where we stayed. It was a business hotel a short walk away from the Hamamatsucho Station in Tokyo. And there are two reasons I remember Hamamatsucho. First of all, because saying it in the announcer voice for the trains is a lot of fun. Hamamatsucho, Hamamatsucho. To this day, I enjoy it. But there's also, on the route to the hotel, there was this one back street that was like lined with uh, garages. It was like a place where stores like had their storage, or there were some even storefronts. But there was this van parked in one of these garage things, where just the like tip of it was out, just the um, very end of the hood. And like the door was closed on basically the grill, so you could see the front of the hood, and that was it. When I went back a couple years later for another high school trip, uh, that van was still there, in the same exact position. Yeah. Did you stop? Good and red move, Tish. Where is he? Alright, let's get in there. Oh, that's the worst thing you could have done. Oh, good job, Tish. Come back. Woo! Come back here. What are you doing? Hold still. All right, it's doing the, the big ring move. It's on Tish? Tish! You monster, where are you? You're gonna pay for that. Oh gosh, is he still on me or is he on Tish still? He's on me now, alright, good. Ah! No! Alright, that move, I. Uh, ugh. Could not have avoided that. Unfortunate. It was French that was the other language offered in high school. That one instead of Spanish. Sucks so bad I needed a tutoring for it. School your high school offered so much. Yeah, it was... What was it? Obviously Spanish, ASL. We had French. Um, German, Japanese, Russian. One of the Chinese languages. I don't remember if it was Cantonese or Mandarin. But yeah, we had a pretty good spread. <laughs> yeah. My taking Japanese is also kind of a funny story. 
Because I wasn't originally going to take it. Like, I wasn't into anime or any of that stuff when I was going into high school. I was like, ah. I actually wanted to take Russian because I thought it sounded cool. But my parents actually were like, you should probably actually take Japanese. At the time, I was like, oh. I didn't really have a direction for what I wanted to do with my life. That hasn't actually changed. <laughs> but uh, at the time, the closest thing I had was I want to make video games. Because that was like the one thing that I loved more than anything else. Ugh. That was stupid. <laughs> Oopsie. Uh, so my parents were like, well, there are a lot of Japanese companies that make video games, right? So you should take Japanese. And of course, being a teenager, I was like, all right, fine. And then it, you know, became the primary study for my entire, like, secondary education. <laughs> Right? All works out. Like, I only ever got into anime because of learning Japanese, which is hilarious. I feel like it's usually the other way around. <laughs> like, people get into anime and they're like, I want to learn Japanese. So yeah, indeed it is. God, what other stories do we have from Japan? That first trip specifically. Let's see, we went to Akihabara. That was an interesting experience. Uh, didn't actually play any games myself. Like, none, didn't actually participate in any arcades. What the heck was that? Whoa. Oopsie. Ha! Though, I think the coolest thing I saw in Akihabara, besides the KFC, was... There was an arcade set up for... A MechWarrior style Gundam game. So if you're not aware, uh, MechWarrior has these like, oopsie, big old uh, machines where like you and five other people can sit down. And it's like a real cockpit, and you control the the big old machines as if you were a pilot. And they had that for Gundam. Again, I didn't actually do it because. I was nervous. I'm not I'm not a very good tourist. <laughs> but it was a really cool thing to see. But the KFC though. So Akihabara, I don't know if it's still there, but the KFC there has this little statue of Colonel Sanders out front. And it is stuck in my brain. Because I read an article once about that specific little statue. This, like, three-foot-high statue of Colonel Sanders being at the center of a controversy uh, among the restaurants of Akihabara. I don't know if it was a joke or if it was an actual marketing thing, but the proprietors of that KFC one day decided to dress up their Colonel Sanders in a maid cafe outfit. And the maid cafes got pissed. I don't remember how that conflict ended. I think it was just the KFC took the costume off the Colonel Sanders. But I think that's hilarious. Red Muftish. And one more. 
Good job, Tish. More red move. Oh, you jerk. Ah, oh, messed up. But yeah. Oh, also, fast food in Japan? Pretty interesting. I got a shrimp filet from McDonald's once. And that was tasty. It was basically just like a breaded lump of macerated shrimp. But it was tasty, and I enjoyed it. Oh my god, also the donuts. Oh man. Mr. Donut? Ooh! Ooh! I'm not a fan of jelly-filled donuts. Like, they're alright, but I wouldn't, like, go out of my way to get one. I had a filled donut. It was covered in sugar. Granulated sugar. My favorite topping on a donut. Donuts made of, like, circles. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. But this, this donut wasn't filled with cream, and it wasn't filled with... I mean, it was kind of filled with cream. But it wasn't filled with jelly, and it wasn't filled with any kind of custard. It was filled with whipped cream. And it was one of the tastiest donuts I've ever had. Good red move, Tish. Up, up, up. Oh, missed time. Yeah, I've soured on regular donuts recently, last few years. Whoopsie. Shockingly for me personally, glazed donuts no longer do it for me anymore. If they are around, I guess I never crave them. Yeah. I love me some cinnamon twists, and I love any, like, a donut that is just covered in sugar. Not powdered, granulated specifically. But a lot of other donuts, most other donuts, I just can't do anymore. Mostly because they hurt my teeth, but that's besides the point. I also have a love-hate relationship with cake donuts. I love the texture, I love the consistency, but they have this weird aftertaste that sticks in my mouth. Like, it's like they're coated with something that then coats the inside of my mouth, and I dislike it a great deal. I think that was attempt number three of five? I haven't been keeping track. <laughs> Cake donut? It's like a thicker donut, like, consistency-wise. Like, it's not very airy or fluffy. It's basically just a cake in the shape of a donut. And they're much more dense. And taste-wise, they're fine. But aftertaste-wise, they're... Ugh. That was attempt four or five. I think. Probably. If we don't get to the Elden Beast in this attempt, this next attempt, uh, we will do a tour. We'll go visit the pot village. I like fried dough, like a can of biscuit or croissant dough. Ooh, yeah. Fried and dipped in powdered sugar. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. Oh, funnel cake? Funnel cake is like crack. That is stuff that... Like, I feel like primarily the stuff that makes me feel ill 
is oily or greasy. So fried dough is not good for me. But I will consume a metric butt ton of funnel cake if I am not stopped. That stuff is divine. That's not good. Hey, uh. Oh, that was close. Good job, Tish. Let's try. Uh oh. Okay, here we go again. Woo! Good job, Tish. Get the damage in. Yikes. Oh my god, really? This guy is being such a dick right now. Good job, Tish. Red move. Yes. I should have died there. But I didn't. Boom! We have somehow avoided the tour every time. That's nuts. We're getting consistent. Quick sip of water. Mm. Mm, yes, consistency. Mm. Elden Beast is shaking in its proverbial boots. The more attempts I get, the closer I come to victory. Good track. It really is. If nothing else, I enjoy this fight for that track. Come on, T Shred move. Ooh, not, not great, T. Not a great start. Wow. It's so bizarre when he doesn't, you know, charge off and run away after that first one. That threw me off really bad. <laughs> Just as we're talking about consistency, he does something completely inconsistent with what he normally does. He's discovered a counter. As we become more consistent, he becomes less consistent, and suddenly we're, we can't touch him. That's okay. Five attempts to tour. 
Skip. Who needs this cutscene? Not me. Are you gonna do the thing? Yes, he is. Nice try, but I saw that coming. Oh god. Whoopsie. Come on, jump, I dare you. You fool! Red move, Teach! Oh my god, every time with that. I blocked it? Hold up. That's new. Oh, just switching all of a sudden, huh? Need more red move, Tish. Oh my god, this guy. One real! Ridiculous. Ugh. Anyway, attempt number one of five. Four more attempts until tour. That jerk. And of course he does a move like right out of it so I can't see him as he's starting the move up. He's having to resort to dirty tricks to keep us from getting to the Elden Beast now. Got him on the ropes. Alright. Skip the cutscene. That was bad. Jump teach more red boo. Oh no. Woo! Pooper scooper. Hup. Teach me need more red move, please. That's what I'm talking about. More red move. I just dove into that like a doofus. Sip. Hop! <laughs> Attempt number two. Whoopsie pupsie. Three more attempts until tour. Ugh. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling a lot more confident than I was last stream. Two and a half hours in. And we've gotten pretty consistent attempts at the Elden Beast. Two of which almost ended in victory. Were it not for my unfortunate choking. Skip! I would skip you, Radagon, if I could.
Oh, Tish. Now's not the time to break. We need your red move. Good job, Tish. More red move. Up, up, up. More red move. Yes. Up. That's not good. That was a fumble. Tish, get out of there. Whoopsie. Is he on me or is he on Tish? Well, it didn't matter. What am I doing? Oops. I'm choking, that's what I'm doing. Quick, summon with the Heimlich. me and my canonically tiny throat. Prone to choking. <laughs> Alright. That was attempt number three of five. If we fail two more times, then we tour. Music. Hmm. There's something I want to try next time I get to the Elden Beast. There is a. Whatchamacallit? Oh, Tish. Oh boy. A talisman or something. Whatever they're called. Ooh. That increases my damage with successive attacks. What I want to do is slip that on right after we take down Radagon. Ouch. That was step number four. Because I'm getting a lot of full-on combos on the... Whatchamacallit? Elden Beast. So maybe... Putting that on will help me out. I don't think they helped me out that much with, uh, what's his name, Moog. That nah, kind of did, actually. I don't remember if I had it on at the very end, though. It's like, what am I using right now? Stamina up? I could probably get rid of that. Need that. Need that. So, yeah, we'll, we'll swap out the stamina one for, uh, this one? Yeah. That's what we'll do. Alright, yeah, I'm still medium load with that. Good, good, good. Actually, let's try just having that on. Let's see what happens. This is attempt number five, I believe. So if we fail this attempt, then we go on a tour. Big on! Woohoo! Yeah! Skip! Skip it, dip it! Yeah, they didn't really have that big of, big of an effect on my stamina either. Oh, Tish. Oopsie. Ow. 
Oh, that was bad. Yikes! Hey -ya. Colossal dick. <laughs> All right, tour time. Wow. Let's go. Eh. Woo. Yawning all over the place. All right, so. Should be down here. Jarberg, there we go. That's what we want to see. Scenic Jarberg. Load. Oh, it's kind of not so scenic right now. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Guys just hanging out, having fun. Poison Bloom. All these adorable little jars, just living their lives. And their weirdly ruined homes. There's this guy foraging for stuff. Not much else, unfortunately, but it's a nice place. Bet if it wasn't raining. What is this? A crystal bud. Hello, pot people. <laughs> A bizarre shaft of light in the otherwise extremely dim Ooh, village. The Berg. <laughs> Let's see. Anything else of interest down here? I don't think so. There's nothing really worthwhile over there. I think it's just some really angry little people. If I'm not mistaken. Wait a second, what? Nope. We never explored up here either. Remind me to do that. Anywho, perhaps inventory. I have all these paintings that I've never like found. You know, like you're supposed to be able to get stuff from these. Seen during the last month was welcomed into death's embrace. Flightless bird. That's really pretty. That looks like the mountaintops of the giants. That is Radon's arena. Uh, don't know what that is. That's Raya Lucaria, I think. 
Yeah, I have all these paintings, but I've never actually found any of them. Like these locations or where they're from. Oh well. Oh, the rain stopped. How nice. Hello, friend. Oh. Oh my gosh. You're adorable. Are you going to do the mutation too? I don't know what that means. I, I guess I'll be your potentate. Please don't make me fight you. All right, here. Mm. Don't think so? Your skin isn't so smooth, is it? You need the cloudy ones to be potentates, you know? I'm sorry, kid. But I don't think you've got what it takes. That's okay. It's a shame. I don't know what being potentate means. Don't Oh, this is delightful. This is exactly what I needed. The heck is a potentate? When you can. Well, next time I tour, I'll go ahead and come and visit you. Whatever your name is. Alright. Now that we've visited Jarburg in all of its splendor, it's time to get back to the boss. Elden Thrun. I may not be able to become the potentate, whatever that means, but I can certainly become Elden Lord. I know for a fact that I've got the stuff for that. Let's go! Back to it. I'll hold off on restarting the tour counter for now. Let's just give it a few good tries, shall we? Wow. Quick stretches. What, 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 what? Skip the cutscene. Let's go. Good job, Tish. Seems that tour did her some good. Uh oh, uh oh. Woo! I am so glad I avoided that. And I'm shocked that I avoided that. Two for pooper. Oh, I avoided that somehow. Alright. We take those. All right, bring it on, pal. Oh, one more red move, Tish. Let's go. Uh oh, Tish, you need red move. That's what I'm talking about. Oh god. Oh god. Ah. Well, flubbed it. That's okay. It was a good first attempt back after that short little trip to Jarburg.
I kind of wish that pot had told me what the potentate was. Or what they did. <laughs> Quick sip. Skip the cutscene, as per the use. Come on out, Tish. Do your magic. Mine isn't good for much in this particular fight. Oh, that's not good. One, two, tres. Uh-oh. rut row. Woo! Come on, Tish. Yikes. Uh oh. Unbelievable. <laughs> I should have mashed the dodge button more. And it looks like that one emblem, whatever it's called, talisman emblem, whatever they are, the successive attacks one. It looks like it's not successively getting stronger with each attack. It's getting an attack buff after doing a certain number of successive attacks. And I think that's okay. I think that's good. I think that will help us in the long run. Sip, sip. Step, step. Water. More red move, Tish. More red move. Oopsie. Woo! Oh, wow. Okay, thanks. Fantastic. Eh. We'll get there. Mark my words. We'll show Radagon who's boss again at some point. <laughs> and then we'll show that Elden Beast what's for. What's for or what for? I'm really not sure. It's one of the two. Skip the cutscene. Into the fight. Good job, Tish. That's what I like to see. Hiya! Big jerk. Big jerk. Uh-oh. 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 
bad. Ha! More red move, Tish. Thanks, dude. Unbelievable. This freaking guy. Alright, Teach, I'm gonna have to ask you to take this. Oh, you jerk. Oh, you loser. You dumb, big old jerkwad. More red move, Teach. Come on. Need those red moves. Yikes. Wow. Sip, sip, faster sip. Huh. Huh. Tish, red move. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Yikes, all right. Yikes, all right. Tish, see a red move. There we go. Okay. That's not great. <laughs> Tish. You are not in a good way right now. Oh dear. That could have gone better. But we're here. We've made it to the Elden Beast once again. I'm not confident in making progress though this time. I feel like Tish is going to die on the first flame attack. As long as she gets a couple red moves in before then. Just spam them Tish, just go crazy. That's all I ask. I really don't think this boss is that difficult. But without Tish using the red move, it's going to take a while. And more time... is more time for mistakes to be made. <laughs> I love that transition. Alright, here we go. Once again, here we are. Go! Good job, Tish. Interesting, where are you going? Can't believe Tish is still alive. Hold still, you. Is that the Elden Ring move? That's the ring move. For sure. Alright. Oh, Tish, you are about to die, huh? Uh oh. Hup! Tish? You're alive! Oh my god! You've gotta be kidding me. Fire! Oh, Tish is dead. Nice try. Hup! I got grabbed. I'm dead. That's a neat looking attack, though. <laughs> yeah, it was very unlikely that that was going to be a successful attempt. Just because Tish was so close to death.
But alas, I think we could have done it if I had, you know, not messed up the timing on the roll. Which is really the case for every failed attempt, let's be honest. Anywho, let's go again. Let's go again. With this long run up to the door of light. Door, wall, whatever. Same difference. We pass through it. Ugh. Skip the cutscene. Mash the Tish button. Tish? Oh god. <laughs> Nice, Tish avoided it. Whoops. <laughs> oh man. Tish, did you do a red move at all that time? Oh, that was an attempt. An attempt was made. Ugh. That's okay. Why on? Why on? Ooh, quick stretch. Stand up. Ooh, stretch. Oh yeah. Get the blood pumping in those legs. Oh, my camera won't capture my face if it's sideways. That's interesting. Ugh. Okay. Uh, oh no, I'm tangled all of a sudden. Okay. And I'm wasting time on my physic. Oh no. Not like it lasts that long. I almost got the shield through the Radagon part of the fight. A little bit earlier. Wow. It'd be crazy if I could get this shield into the Elden Beast fight. One? No, just one? Okay, interesting. Up. And up. More red move, Tish. There we go. Oh, you colossal jerk. No! Up! Upsie! <laughs> Going for three never works! Oh. That's a mistake I need to stop making, for sure. Can't get too aggressive. Aggression is needed, necessary. But if I get too aggressive in the wrong spots, I'm just asking for trouble. Gotta be patient. Each attempt doesn't take that long. Assuming, you know, Tish uses the red move. As long as Tish uses that red move, these attempts go real quick. Zip, zip. Okay. Let's go. Round who knows how many. We can't protect the Elden Beast forever, Radagon. That's what I'm talking about, Tish. Get that red move. Up, oh, oopsie. Yikes, likes it. Whoop. Okay. Hit 
Yikes. Oh, pooper. Well, shield's gone. That's fine. No! Woo! Red move. Yes! Good job, Tish. Here we go. More red move, Tish. Now while he's distracted. Hang on! Good job, Tish. Oh. Oh, silly me. I thought he was done. I'm a fool. <laughs> That was a good run. Plenty of red move from Tish. Those are the kind of figures we like to see. Load. Faster, please. You would think that the game would be able to load. I guess it probably has to load like all of Lane Dell every time I respawn here. All the more reason there should be a stake of Marika, like, right up here, next to the fog gate. But no. They have to torture you. It's like, oh, you want to try again? You have to run up these stairs. And through this arch. You can't just jump right back in. That's ridiculous. Let's do this. Whoop. 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 And whoop. Yo. Whoop. Okay. Oh! Not good. Okay. Up. Oh, I missed the uh, missed the roll. Oopsie. That was embarrassing. Especially since I never, never get hit by the falling attack. I got spooked. My nerves got me. It was the ping, no. <laughs> That's fine. It's all good. A few failed attempts is to be expected after getting to the Elden Beast. That's usually the pattern. I would say that one of these times I'm going to get to the Elden Beast twice in a row. But it's impossible because the next attempt is going to be the one in which I win. No doubt about it. That was weird. Good job, Tish. Red move. Stamina recover. Good red move, Tish. Oopsie. Ugh. All right, jump up to the air. Up. Oh, oopsie. That was a silly mistake on my part. Yo. Good red move, Tish. Hit those. That's what I like to see. Another red move. Good job. Oh, jeez. Sh Shabai, you biking. Whoop. Tish. You all right? Yeah. Sip. All right. Woo. That was close. Oh, no. Okay. That was shockingly not bad. 
Red move, Tish. We need that red move. Run, flee. Hiya. Quick sip, just for safety. More red move, Tish. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, no, you missed. That's okay, just do it again. More red move. Let's go. Woo! Okay. Woo! 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 Good job, Tish. All right. Half health, Tish. That's a good sign. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. This is the one. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. Not gonna skip this cutscene for good luck. Ooh. Shake off the nerves. Let's go. Alrighty. Gotta pay close attention to each and every attack. No silly mistakes this time. We're gonna get lots of red moves from Tish. We're gonna get some good RNG, no hard to avoid moves. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What just happened? <laughs> what happened? I'm confused. Uh, that's not good. I feel, um, uh, I'm, I'm a little bit out of it now. Alright. What was it? Oh, it's on me. Oh, bad. Come on! Oh, you jerk. I did not see that coming. Okay, yeah, that, that little that little glitch really threw me off. Big time. Oh, man. Ouch. Big ouch. Ugh. <laughs> Why did that happen? I don't understand. Ah! It doesn't make any sense. Anyways, back to it. Here's that two times in a row that I was talking about before. I never said that was going to be the one. That's ridiculous. Clearly such a funky attempt could not be the one. Let's go. This is going to be the one. Chase leading off the red move. That's already a good sign. Oopsie. Lost my shield already. That's fine. All is well. Tish, get out of there. Oopsie. Oopsie. Woo! Good, good, good. Get three in here. One, two, uh oh. Lightning. Already, huh? Alright. Red move, Tish. Good job. 
Nice. Up the lightning, you big old jerk. Alright, sip. Oh, Tish, come on. No! Unreal. Ugh. That was close, though. I got impatient again. It's always the impatience. Tisk tisk. Shame on me. Other than that last embarrassing screw up, that was a good run. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Feel good about it. Getting up there. This time for sure. <laughs> okay. Red move, Tish. Yes. Oh my god, yikes, yikes! Bruh. Oopsie. Stay out of there, Tish. What did I just say? No! How dare you interrupt her red move? Big old jerk. Red move, Tish. Let's go. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Wow. Wow. Whoopsie. Oh, good job, Tish. Oh my gosh. Did she avoid that? What the heck? You jerk. Red move, Tish. T shred move. Come on. This is your chance. Good job. Okay. Woo! Look at that. Not two twice in a row, but within quick succession. Very close together. Also, T is at half health. That's a good starting place. We got this. This is gonna be good. It'll be great. In fact. Alrighty. And this time I won't be thrown off by any weird glitching. Wow. I just want to say before this starts, I have to use the restroom. If I fail this attempt, I'm going to blame that. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Oh, God. So good. Let's get there. Let's, let's, let's get there. No we're glitching this time. Fantastic. Where are you going? Come back here. A little far away, Tish. 
Alright, ring move. I'm assuming it's gonna be on me. Yep. I didn't jump over it. Oh god. Oh god! Alright, we made it. And I'm right next to it. Nice. Oh, good job taking the aggro, Tish. What is that? What are you doing? Not cool. Don't hurt Tish like that, big jerk. Uh oh. Ah. Ah. Alright, I can't blame having to go to the restroom on that. That move is just so nuts. I don't know how to avoid it. Maybe I shouldn't run directly away from it. Because I feel like if I get close to it, it'll just make it harder to dodge. But if I'm running away, it might make it even harder or just as hard. Maybe I need a serpentine. Yeah, that was a solid attempt with bad RNG. I'll give it three more attempts and then I'll go to the restroom. <laughs> skip, skip, skip. You jerk. Ah! Uh, well, there's number one. Maybe I should look at the great runes again. I've never actually used a rune arc, so maybe there's one that would help me out in this fight? Let's check that real quick. Not equipment. Uh, inventory, I guess? I went the wrong way for this. There we go. Raises all attributes. Eh. That's not really useful. Maximum HP. Yeah, that would help, but like I'm kind of doing this whole thing where I'm not using that much health. Don't need that. Effect rebirth. Tax recover HP after damage is taken. That might be useful, but not really. There's only there's not many attacks that I can take that will, you know, not kill me outright. So yeah. What was, um, this one? Raises maximum HP, FP, and stamina. Ah! That's not really worth it. Because right now, the only item that's increasing our health is the Sore Seal. Radagon's Sore Seal. But it's also increasing our strength, I think? You don't need it. You got this? Yeah. I don't need it. I don't need it. Whoa. Who needs vigor? That's a dump stat. Oops, didn't roll. Whoop. Whoop. Whoa! Tish! No! Uh-oh. Interesting. Still focus on Tish, not me. All 
Alright, Tish, now's your chance to do red move. That's what I'm talking about. More red move. Let's go. Whoa, Betty. Ouch, that's not good. Oh, extra bad. Oh, I should have sipped first. Uh oh. Whoa! 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 Oh. Still alive. I live, bitch. Alright. Safety sip. More red move, Tish. Oh my god, the fact that I can block that is ridiculous. Yikes. Uh-oh. Good job, Tish. Nice diversion. Also, nice red move. Unreal. Unreal. Ugh. Ridiculous. You mean a rune arc? Yeah. I don't need a rune arc. The great runes are really just decoration. I don't actually need to use them. I mean, I say that. It would... Don't forget to parry. You can parry this boss? I was not aware of that. Oh. Also, I don't know the timing. Uh, you know, I'll give it a shot. It's... I think it is all of his regular attacks, right? You've just lo dislodged a bit of information. Why did I drink that then? I am frazzled. Yeah, I'm a ter I'm terrible at parrying, but I'll give it a shot. We'll stick to the plan up until the point where he aggro's us. Also, welcome. I'll say it's Angel. <laughs> okay, he's aggroing us, but not in the way I want him to. Nope, that's not a parryable move. Oh god. That's not one either. More red move, Tish. There we go. Nope. Uh, sip. Try the parry again. Parry! Oh my god, I got it. Holy crap. Uh oh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh. Wow, I actually did it. Holy crap. I'll say this, Angel. Thank you very much. That is not a bad piece of advice, for sure. Woo! <laughs> oh, man. I'll definitely have to keep that move in my back pocket. I've become so dead set in the way I was doing things that I forgot all the information that I looked up trying to figure out how to beat this guy. <laughs> I guess that uh, holy damage reduction thing does more work than I really gave it credit for. Teesh! Why no red move? That's new. Okay. That's okay. That was... Mulligan. Mulligan. <laughs> That's alright. Also, I said I would use the restroom, but I completely forgot about that. Three more attempts. Three more attempts, and then I'll use the restroom. Uh. 
All right. Sip the wondrous physic. Let's go, let's go, let's go again, yo. All right. Good job, Tish. Good start. Oh, that was a move I could probably get parried. Oops, didn't roll. Boop. Big yikes. Oh my god. Ah, so dead. I'm not dead. I'm alive, somehow. Oh, Jesus. Good red move, Tish. Oh, that was bad. Sip. Ooh, thought I messed that up again. Good red move, Tish. All right. Oopsie. <laughs> oh. That sounds about right. When I fight the Elden Beast, I wonder if it'd be worth it to put the shield away and just two-hand the S-Stock. I feel like the, the amount of damage, the extra damage, isn't that much. Because I'm not blocking that many moves from the Elden Beast. I can block at least one sword swipe, but... If I'm blocking those, I feel like I might as well dodge. And getting closer. Anyway, that was attempt number one. Two more and then we break. Good start, Tish. Oopsie. Oh, that was not good. I almost ran into that, which would have been hilarious. Tragic and hilarious. Juan? Zahu? Whoop. 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 Uh oh. Oh, that was silly. <laughs> we'll get there. We will get there. <laughs> that was a number two. One more, one more. Da 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 da. Maybe they'll release a patch that puts a uh, stake and marker right next to this fog door. That'd be nice. I would appreciate that greatly. <laughs> Not that it would help me, because I'm going to finish this tonight, right? Right. Yikes. Whoop. Okay. Nice attempt -ish. Oopsie.
Ugh. Now it was poor execution all, all the way through for me. All right. Quick break, quick recess, while I use the restroom. Da, 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 da. And we're back. Alrighty. Whew. Feeling refreshed. Feeling ready to get back into it. Since it's been a while since we've gotten to the Elden Beast, I'm going to start the tour counter again. This is attempt number one of five. Until we go on a tour. Skip, 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 skip. Skip the cutscene. Let's go, Tish. Up, up, oopsie. That was weird. Oh, boy. 
Let's go. Good red move, Tish. Okay. Yikes. More red move, Tish, please. We need more of that red move. Oh god. <laughs> the dang lightning. Whoa. That was attempt number one. On to attempt number two. As soon as it loads. We'll get there. Eventually. Come on. Load! Load! That worked. <laughs> Alright. Once again! Oh, wait, where's my war face? Hold on a second. Is it this one? No, this one. Yes, war face. Alright. Getting serious now. Dish, good job. Whoop, whoop. More red move, Tish. Uh oh. That's what I'm talking about. Oopsie. That was a mistake. Ooh. Wow, that was bad all around. Ugh. Attempt number two. Of five. Three more attempts until the tour. Yeah. We got this. I have no doubts that tonight is the night. Today's the day! Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, what am I going to replace Elden Ring with once I actually beat it? Ooh. Maybe another RPG, but more something more story-driven? That was attempt number three. Two more. Maybe an Elder Scrolls game. Did you see the other Souls-like game that's coming out? I don't think so, actually. Oh, don't need my game face for this. <laughs> what game would that be? I haven't really had my ears to the ground. Ears? Ear. Whatever. I had both ears to the ground at the same time. <laughs> Wish list it? Cool. But 
da, 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 da. Because if I were to replace it with a Souls like, there's a few options. Dimessia, I have not heard of that. I'll have to look it up after this. It doesn't release till August. I mean, that's fine. It gives me time to, like, experiment with other things. For example, another Souls-like but more anime would be Code Vein. That game was a lot of fun. I think it would be a good stream game. Oh my gosh. Dude, you doing alright? Need some more red move, please. Good job, Tish. More red move. Keep, keep, keep it coming. Oopsie. Good thing I have my shield. Yeah, Code Vein is like super anime vampire. Oopsie. Ah. Uh, I got distracted. Whoopsie. Is this a bit, a bit odd right now? I'll still play demo. Neat. Yeah, I definitely recommend Code Vein if you're looking for something similar. Elden Ring, but like a little bit different. Like From Software definitely has smoothed out their uh, game design. I wouldn't call the earlier games clunky by any means. Maybe besides Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 2 feels a little clunky, but uh, you can really feel how polished the Souls games are when you play a game like Code Vein. It's very nice. It's a lot of fun. And it's very aesthetic. It's just a little bit clunkier than most Souls games. There's also some pretty fun character customization. Like, argu arguably... One of Code Vein's biggest strengths is build variety. $60? Oh my gosh, maybe? That would be amazing. <laughs> oh, that move again. Oh! Good job, Tish. Get that red move. Woo! More red move, Tish. There we go. Oopsie. Go. Good job, Tish. Keep hitting those red moves. Nice. Red move, let's go. I need you to tank this for me, Tish. Oh my god, okay. You're going a little nuts here, Radagon. I need you to not do that. You big piece of garbage. Yo, bad. Ow. No. Have much luck streaming what I want in PC cooperating fully. Ah, uh, that sucks. Whoa. Like I, I've been spending so much time streaming off my PlayStation, like using the capture card, that I am a little bit nervous to go back to trying streaming from the PC directly. Uh, there's very limited things that could go wrong with the PlayStation. Why nervous? 
I really don't know. It's mostly that I've, like, dialed in the settings and all the stuff for the PlayStation. Because when I first tried to straight, like, stream with it, I couldn't get the audio working, the video wouldn't work a lot of the time. But now it works consistently, and I don't have to, like, mess with anything. I'm just being paranoid, mostly, but... Still. It's enough to make me a little nervous. Oopsie. Ouch. If I were to stream Code Vein, I'd probably do it on the PC this time. You should all be fine. Thank you, Asha. I appreciate that. That vote of confidence means a lot. I am mostly technologically illiterate. So. I need those confidence boosters. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure it would work fine. At this point, there should be a tech pattern. Oh, that would be so high. You have no idea. I've completely lost track of the tour counter as well. So let's just restart it. In five attempts... If we don't get to the Elden Beast, uh, we'll go on a tour. We'll go and see the world. Just to, want, like, loosen up. Relax a little bit. So yeah, we went from doing super well in the first couple hours, getting the Elden Beast real consistently, to getting stuck on this dickhead again. Oh. Jerk. Unreal. I'm out. See ya. Zip. Oh, Teach, I need you to tank that for me. You're doing great, lady. Oh, no! You're a big jerk. More red move, Tish. What was that? <laughs> I call shenanigans on that one. Nana Gannery. Load, 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 load. I will say that for the most part, this fight is pretty solid. Radagon has a few moves that feel a little unfair for how quickly they come out. But I think I've avoided every one of his moves at least once. So it's not like they're unavoidable. Good start, Tish. Okay, that was weird. Whoop! Woo! Good red move, Tish. Whoa, nah. -uh. No. Stop that. Whoops. Bop. Bop. Ooh, I thought I mistimed that big time. Pup! Good red move. That's what I like to see. No! Oh. 
Ooh, I should have gotten hit by that. But I'm thankful that I didn't. Stop that. Uh oh. Yikes. Alright, teach, I need more. Oh! And she's even doing more red move. I love you, Tish. <laughs> that was attempt number two or three. Let's say three. Two more attempts until two are. Where should we go on the tour if we fail these next two attempts? I haven't been back to the mountaintop of giants. It's not like we'd be doing anything there. We'd just be wandering around, taking in the sights. Never going back to the Halleck tree. Screw that place. I guess we could pop down to the Seofrio River. That's very scenic. Go check on Mikola. <laughs> Alright. Come back here, please. Ah. This guy. Come on, teach red move. No. Yes. Completely given up on. Ugh. Parrying. Ugh. Good red move, Tish. With the lightning and the. Ooh. Woo! Woo! That was a mistake. I'm alive somehow. Wow. Wowzer Bowser. Uh oh. Oh, I mistimed that really bad. Alright, one more attempt. And then we tour. Blow off some steam. Relax a bit. If there were any quests that we could still do, besides like the really major ones for the other tarnished, I feel like those would be a good option for the tour, but I think pretty much all of those are locked off from me now. <laughs> Which is unfortunate. Good start, Tish. Oh, yikes. Oh, there's my shield. That's fine. Ooh, that was close. How dare you avoid Tisha's red move. Up, up. Stop with the lightning. Tish! Red move, Tish. Good red move. Uh oh. Big yikes. Up. Up.
Oh my god, the lightning. Oh, that's bad. I'm in trouble. He's on Tish. All right. Not ideal, but we'll take it. I swear to god, he avoids the red move on purpose. Good job, Tish. What is that? Out, 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 out. Oh, okay, it's not with that one. That's not the one that explodes again. Hey, Tish, red move. Let's go. Oh, god, Tish is gonna die. Bro, you need to stop with that. Oh, that's the one that explodes. Tish, don't die, please. Good job, Tish. Getting that red move. Yes! Alright. No tour. Why locked off? Was I locked off? What? Was I not locked on to him? What? Hold on. <laughs> oh, locked off like uh, the quests, you mean. Well, the world state has progressed to such a state where none of the NPCs are available anymore. That scared me. I was like, was I not locked onto him? That would have been so silly of me. But, uh... Yeah, like... Typically, you would progress these quests as you play through the game. Like, you'd meet them somewhat early on, and then they would appear periodically as you got further along. Uh, besides Kenneth Height. <laughs> I don't think any of the other NPCs that have a quest that I can do not related to one of the Tarnished uh, is available. I'm fairly certain I could still do Fia's quest and the Dung Eater's quest. But I don't want to do either of those, <laughs> so... Let's go! Alright, red move, Tish, come on. You gotta, you gotta open up with the red move. Red move, come on. More red move, please. You missed. Oh god. And I flubbed it. That's okay. The, uh, whatchamacallit, the tour counter has been reset. <laughs> Five more attempts until we tour. Ugh. Yeah, that was a weird attempt overall. Radagon took forever. And again, if it does the sword swipe as the first thing after the fire, I always get hit by it. I don't know why it changing the pattern spooks me so much. It is not an easy, it is not a difficult slap, slash, my goodness. I can speak. That single sword swipe is not a difficult attack to avoid. And I'm pretty sure I could actually block it. So there's really no reason for me to die to it. Tish. Oh, pooper. <laughs> Up into the air. Nice red move. Yikes. Oh, boy. 
That's a good chance to red move, Tish. Up. 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 Nice try, dickhead. Interesting. Nice red move. Yikes. Okay. Interesting. Whoa! Unreal! What? I avoided that. Ugh. Unreal. That's okay. That was a good attempt. We almost made it. <laughs> that would have been two times in a row if we had. Has that happened before? Have I made it twice in a row to the Elden Beast? I don't think so. This is fine. We've got an hour left in this stream. I'm confident. I've been close several times. Oh, yeah. It's like the success rate of my attempts is on like a par parabolic arc. Like a sine wave or whatever. I don't do math. <laughs> like I get the really good attempts that make it to the Elden Beast. And then I s quickly descend into not making it anymore. You jerk. Good red move, Tish. That's what I like to see. More red move. Oh god, that's not good. Lightning! Oh. 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 That was a less good attempt. <laughs> water. Water, water. Okay. That was... Wait, was that attempt number two on the tour counter? I think it was. After the reset. So we have three more attempts until we tour. Did I already decide where we're going to go? I think Seo Frio River was like the front runner. That is a pretty hostile place, though. As pretty as it is. So we'll have to see. I don't want to end up having to fight anything. Oopsie. I should not have attacked there. Oh, that's a big yikes. Good red move, Tish. I just dove into that. <laughs> Maybe we'll just go back to Jarburg. <laughs> Take a quick vacation to there real quick. We're on to attempt number four. Yeah. So two more attempts. And then tour.
Because we've already been back to the Volcano Manor. We've already been... Down south. I don't want to go back to Caleb. <laughs> Okay, that sounds like a bad time to me. Good red move, Tish. Love to see it. Oh, he's already doing this thing. Two, three, four. Okay. Good red move, Tish. Keep that up. Oh. Nice. More red move, Tish. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You colossal tick bag. Uh oh. Nice. Okay. Safety sip. Man, we only took that one hit. Alright, Tish, you need more of that. Just constant red moves. Let's see it. Let's see it, Tish. Red move. Red move. Red move. <sighs> and we reset the tour counter back down to zero. Ugh, shake off the nerves. Man, I am incredibly stubborn. This is the boss that is taking me the longest. This is the single, like, this one thing has taken me longer than any other thing in this game. And I still insist that this is an easy boss. I must be crazy. Go! Red move, Tish! Tish, red move! Don't get by the fire, Tish! Oh my god, really? That's unfortunate. Okay. Interesting. And ring move. Cool. Start running. Tish, you're gonna have to luck out. There you are, you big jerk. Up. Nice try. Oh god, that's scary. That's a cool... Oh, nice. Good red move, Tish. Oh, what is this? Is that on me or is it on Tish? That's on Tish. Oh, God. Two. Three. Four. Oh. Get closer, Tish. You need to be closer to hit the red move. It's a bit far, Tish. Yikes, big yikes, big yikes. Tish, you alright? Uh oh, uh oh. Hap! Oh, that's a move I can't really avoid. Alright. So 
So, unfortunate. Yeah, if you're not on the Elden Beast when it does that specific move, you're basically guaranteed to get one shot. At least I am, because I have nine vigor. <laughs> I could respect, but that would be giving up. That would be admitting defeat. I made it all this way with nine vigor. I'm not going to stop now. All right, tour counters at zero. Let's get in there. Start, Tish. Oopsie. Whoop. Whoop. Not good. Oh, boy. Woo. Get ready to move, Tish. Stop moving. Big rich. Red move, Tish. Come on. More red move. Ugh. That's right, more red move. Keep going, keep it coming. Big yikes. Zip. Good red move, Tish. Is he gonna turn on me? No, he's not. Awesome. Come on, Tish, red move. Oh god. Oh my god. Unreal. That was just a terrible sequence of events. Unfortunate. That's okay. That was... Was that attempt number one? Yeah, yeah, it was. Four more. Until tour. I just held up four fingers as if you guys could see it. <laughs> just goes to show how far my mind is going. It's basically gone at this point. Good RNG this time. Nothing but easy to avoid moves. Isn't that right, Radagon? Oh boy. Red move, Teach. Let's go. Whoopsie. Big yikes. Whoopsie. That attack, that's unfortunate. Oopsie. Oh, I should have used that moment to heal. I'm a big goofball. Yikes. Oh, God, really? Guy, I need you to stop being who you are. It's really a bummer. All right, here we go. Oh, ridiculous. Uh, I was too close. Okay. Welcome back, Asha. Ah! Gotta stay at mid-range for that. Otherwise, I get hit by the second, like, explosion.
That was step number two of five. I really do need to put up a counter or something, so I don't have to keep track of it like that. But that's cool. And we're fine with the way we are now. I'll figure out the counter thing at some point. Do some experimentation. With scenes and OBS. Here we go, attempt number three. Job Tish. Oh boy. For stamina. Whoa, not good. Bad, 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 bad. Whoops. Okay, time number three. That was fantastic. <laughs> Come to half health. That's not a terrible run. Not great. But not terrible. Once again, I'm getting too aggressive. Two more attempts and then we tour. Let's go! Realize I'm like, Bap, don't need that. <laughs> Hasn't really helped me do anything, but I feel like faith has been something that I put points into that has been completely pointless. I don't think a single faith spell has given me anything back. That's all. Let's get in there. Wap, wap, wapoo. Ya ba ba ba. All right, more red move, Tish. Let's go. Yikes. Oh, man. Whoop. Whoop. Good job, Tish. Good job, Tish. Alright, red move. Let's go. Just stop with the lightning. I just ran into that. Except. Whoa, that was close. He's just stop with the lightning, bro. That's right, Tish. More red move. Oh, big yikes. Sip, 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 sip. Faster. I just ran into that. I am doing silly, silly mistakes. Good red move, Tish. Whoa! Bruh, come on. More red move, Tish. Come on. Got back there. Once again, good job, Tish. That was a good run. A little bit stumbly, but Tish has a lot of health. That's all I can really ask for. Ah.
Here we go. Stretch, limber up. Dry off those hands. I need some of that gamer goo. That's the last thing I need. I, my hands are dry enough as it is. It'd fall apart if they got any drier. Gamer goo. The way I've seen gamer goo described, it feels like reverse lotion. Like you put it on, it dries your hands out rather than moisturizes them. I can't imagine that being a very comfortable feeling for someone with already dry hands. All right. Let's try insults again. Bring it on, you big Elden bitch. Okay. Too far away, Tish. Alright. Ring move. Run. Oh my god, I'm on top of it. Holy butts. Sip. That was interesting. You were too far away, Tish. Never mind, she got it. Yikes. This is really bad. Unreal. Oh. Well. Well. Well, well, well. That really would have been it. Did I just not have enough stamina? What happened there? Two more swipes is all it needed. Yeah. I wonder if... <laughs> this probably would not work out. But if Tish had used the red move, like, one or two more times, instead of attacking normally... I can't imagine the game would let me get away with that. But it would have been fun to see. Tour counter is reset. Yeah, even one more time. <sighs> oh, whoops. <laughs> I'm gonna attack Tish. She's amazing. That sucked. Whoopsie. I'm alive somehow. Fix it. Whoa, what just happened? Did Tish just stagger him? Did I see that right? That was... Oh my gosh. That was a very good attempt. One down, four to go. We have just over half an hour left in this stream. Boy, oh boy. We've definitely broken the record, like shattered it, a uh, personal record, of course, for attempts that reach the Elden Beast and attempts that almost win.
That last one, though, was super lucky. Let's see if we can get another one just like it. Except that one that exceeds, succeeds. <laughs> Ideally. Come here. Attack me, big jerk. Up. More red mutish. Keep it coming. Teach, red move. Oh my god. There we go. Take a sip. Mistake. Up. Uh. Oopsie. <laughs> well, that's two. Lane Dell, Ass Capital. That about sums up where I am mentally at the moment. <laughs> if Lane Dell is the Ass Capital and I am its king. Come on, Tish, red move. More red move. That's what I'm talking about. Oopsie. Ah. Oh. My hand stuck to the button. Four and a half hours in, starting to get sluggish. Still, I believe we can do this. Load. Get me back in there, coach. Big breath in. I can do that. Held that for a little too long. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Uh, well, this one's a mulligan. How did I screw this up so bad? Go away, leave me alone. Fuck you! <laughs> mulligan, mulligan, that one doesn't count. I fumbled the, the procedure. Okay. Not counting that one. That one does not count towards the tour counter. 
We're still at three left. This time for sure. I have no idea how I messed that up so badly. I didn't even notice at first. Touch the golden light. <laughs> Skip that cutscene. Who needs it? I sure don't. There we go. Procedure accomplished. Get back here. What? Whoa, bruddy. Oh my god. Alright, Tease, come on. More red boot, please. There we go. That's what I like to see. You should do it again, Tish. That shit stacks. You gotta take advantage of it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. More red move. Tish? All right. Oh no. Uh uh. No. More red move, Tish. Come on. Yikes. You missed. Don't let it get to you, Tish. You got this. He's not. This guy ain't shit. Come on, teach red move. Whoa, not good. Very bad. Very bad. Whoa! Alright, sip. Safety sip. Hold his attention, Tish, just uh, for a little bit. Don't look at me. He looked at me! Ah! That was uh, attempt number three and attempt five of the tour count. <laughs> I forgot after so many hours and days that he <laughs> he views approaching him as a hostile action. Ugh. <laughs> Anyways, back to it. Ooh. He's so touchy. Okay. Red move. Whoopsie. That was weird. Up. 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 Good red move, Tish. Let's get more of those. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. Good. More red move, Tish. Come on. Nope. Oh, my God. Ooh, that was really close. Almost flubbed it. We got there. All right. Good, 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 good. Good job, Tish. Keep that up. 
We're gonna need all the red move you can give. All right. Loosen up. Get, shake it all out. Get ready. Finish the thought. <laughs> Ooh. Game face. All right. Game face. God, the sword is so unsettling. Alright, Beast, you have two options. Either you're nice and you give me some good moves that are easy to avoid, or you break and you just stop moving and let me kill you. Yeah, those are your only two options. I don't make the rules. Red move, Tish, come on! Where'd he go? Get in there. That's what I'm talking about. Need more of that. Woo! Didn't die to it that time. Right, you gotta do that when he's close. Doesn't really have much of an effect if you're across the arena. Oh my god, she actually hit him. Hup. Don't die, Tish. Nice, we're right next to him. Uh oh, never mind. That sucks. Good red to move, Tish. Oh! I have died to that move three times now in this one session. Ah. Game face off. <laughs> huh. Well, we got close again. Not nearly as close as the last attempt, but... Close. We could have had it if I had avoided that move. But it gets me every time. And still, after all of these attempts, all these failures, I maintain that this is an easy boss, and I'm just bad. <laughs> There's just something about both of these fights, Radagon and the Elden Beast, that doesn't feel difficult. Ow, what the fudge monkey butthole was that? Ouch. Ouch. Good red move, Tish. What the heck was that? What was that? Where were you aiming? Ah. Well, oh well. That's fine. That's okay. 
No big deal. No big deal at all. <laughs> Ain't nothing but a thing. Exactly, Asha. We've got this, we've got this, we've got this, we've got this. I believe. <laughs> Go! Aha! Hup! Good job, Tish. Get that red move. Oh, God. Nope. Okay. This is a good start. Interesting. Red move, Tish. Let's go. You colossal dickhead. Unreal. Bleh. Teleporting jerk. The list of things he does that annoy me grows. Specifically, teleporting into a normal attack. Teleporting right next to me into a normal attack. That bothers me. That grinds my gears. Yeah, 15 minutes left in this stream. Let's see if we can pull one out. Let's get there. Let's make it to the end. Good. More red move teach. Let's go. Unbelievable. That is the worst possible timing that could have happened. Alright, red, red move teach. Let's go. Right. Uh oh. Yikes, big yikes. Alright, Tish, come on, red move. I feel like Obi Wan on the other side of the What? Yikes. Red move, Tish. Let's go. This guy. Thank you, Tish. Good job, Tish. Yeah. All right. You got this. You can do it. I believe in you. All right. Here we go.
we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Them cheeks. That's what we're about to do. Here we go. Boss ain't nothing. Go red move teach. Need to use red move more, even more. That was interesting. Where'd he go? Oh god. Okay. Ring move. Ring move. Okay. And go. Oh my god, I'm right next to it. Uh... Unreal. I've never actually been that close to it when it did that move before. Now I know what it looks like from the inside. Cool. <laughs> Good information. That's a win in my book. We learned something. <laughs> anyway, back to it. We have 10 minutes left. Let's see if we can get another attempt in. Oopsie. I misjudged the timing. More red move, Tish. Let's go. Show him his boss. Show him with the real bosses. It's you, Tish. You're the boss. Distraction teach. And nice red move. Woo! That was very close. Unreal. His attack came out just before mine did. If I had been patient, that would have been two in a row. Oh well. Next attempt. Let's 
a bit late for a tour now, so the counter is now for, I guess, ending the stream? Still time, exactly. I am very annoyed with myself that I lost that last one, though. That was... Entirely bad play on my part. Like, we had that. I threw it all away. Red move Tish. Oh, real. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah. Specific combinations that get me every time. I'm particularly weak to his stomp move. I've gotten better at the like the big stomp, but the one that he weaves into his like combos always get me. And all of his holy attacks pierce my bubble shield. Which is incredibly unfortunate. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey. Let's go. Get in there. I missed. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bad, 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 bad. More red move, Tish. Yes. Oopsie. Ay, ay, ay. Hold on to that aggro, Tish. Sip. Alright. Let's get in there. Uh oh. Good red move, Tish. Wow, he is just going hard with the lightning. Tish, get out of there. He's doing it again? Oh no. Wow. That was just very bad luck. He basically made himself unapproachable. Huh. <sighs> oh well. That was attempt number three, so we got two more. Two more attempts, two more attempts. Two, 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 more attempts. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Bring it on. Uh 
Oh, whoops. Good red move, Teach. Get more of those. More of them. More red move. Just non-stop red moves. That's what I want to see. Oh, I thought I mistimed that. But here we are. Up, up, up. More red move, Teach. Let's go. Oh, wow, really? All right. Convenient timing for you, huh? Big jerk. Woo! Good red move, Teach. Look over here. Come on, Tish, more red move. Unbelievable. Ah. All right, one more attempt. Pooper scooper. Not giving up, though. We're going to make the best of that last attempt. I'm going to dodge everything well. Teach is going to throw out tons of red moves. She's going to connect with all of them, too. And we're going to finish this game in this last attempt for the night. It'll be a come-from-behind victory. I believe. Come on, 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 come on. All right, Tish, red move. Let's go. Up. 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 Poorly timed that. That's fine. Come on, Tish. More red move. Keep it coming. Non stop. Yikes. Okay, red move. Red move. Red move. Come on, Tish. Good distraction, Tish. Now, red move. I swear he knows it's coming. Oh, dang it. Ah, that was it. I did it again. Oh well. That was a pretty good Five hours of attempts. <laughs> we almost beat the Elden Beast like three or four times. And we would have saved for mistakes like that last one. That's okay. It just means I don't need to rewrite my schedule just yet. <laughs> I'll wait for the ground to render in. There we go. So close. Yeah. Alrighty. It's time about time we wrapped up. Five hours. Next time for sure you'll slay the Elden Beast. Yeah, I will. I'll slay that Elden Bitch. Alright. But ladies and gentlemen of the jury, thank you so much for watching. I know it's another five hour stream of nothing but this. But we'll get there. Next time for sure. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.